All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, come uh, come down here into my basement chamber of secrets. Okay. Um, I don't know if I talked to you about this, but I joined a cult. Good for you. Oh, man. it's uh, so, so are you, like, how many times a week do you lift? Oh, um, well, I don't need anything that casts a shadow. Mm, it's that kind of okay. cult. Okay. Um, not that not the first kind. Um, and the uh, so I, I, I met this guy. His name's Chuck. He's a real cool dude. Um, he is he's really powerful. And he's actually uh, he's been telling me he's going to open up this 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 door to the nether dimension. Hmm. And uh, does uh, I, does does Chuck have any like agents that, that that work for him? Or are you like or are you just like signed up to be a part of that? I, I think I'm one of the ancients. Uh, what? you know, which is which is fine. You become Chuck's one agents. of the ancients, really? Uh, no, well, we're gonna hopefully we're gonna meet some. So okay. I figured, uh, you know, out of everybody I knew, um, you know, given uh, your propensity for horror and everything, and the fact that we're going into a shadow dimension, um, I would uh, should be a shadow in, dimension. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go into this other dimension he opened up. Oh, Man, we just I, we just got back from that other one where that uh, that the, the the mystery guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is I mean, it's a different, totally different shadow dimension. Okay. Um, so I want to uh, want to have you here. Let me move this uh, this tapestry. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 the, the Crimson wow. King, and uh, here's here's a portal. Mm. And uh, let, let's step through, buddy. I have a lot of things to tell you about this cult. I'm pretty okay. Well, here we go. Very cool. Whoa. Wow! Look at it, Cole. Look at look at the geometry. I can't describe it. It's I know. No it's, matter it's, how much I try, there are no words. It, it's the the things. Everything is set to to Charlie's angles. <laughs> I I can't. Fuck none of them this. Make sense. Fuck this, Gary. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. this. <laughs> be ashamed <laughs> like like i don't have i don't have that much of a foot to stand on <laughs> i don't know i don't like i just I, like i have a, uh, i got a chill from my toes up to the top of my head <laughs> when he's at charlie's angles uh, and i feel like but, i walked right into that one. Oh, uh. that's all right oh yeah well you know fuck fuck that fuck this uh i'm i'm gary butterfield i'm cole ross i guess this is abject suffering the show where we tell you what can get fucked and, <laughs> and what should not be fucked Whew. yeah uh why are you doing this to us uh yeah oh boy who Br- Br- brian you got some splaining to do <laughs> yeah, like uh oh you're a bad boy you're a bad brian yeah this is this is one bad brian he's gonna get spank spanked <laughs> the um Hey, oh man. Yeah. So so this is uh this is Charlie's Angels. Um it was it was suggested for the PS2, although that <laughs> the game was received so poorly on the GameCube that all the ports were canceled, which imagine, Gary, of all of the shitty licensed universal games that came mm-hmm. out, not like Universal Studios, but like, oh, well, like we're just going to shovel everything onto every platform. Everything so with a Game Boy it. Color port. <laughs> right. Yeah. Everything with a Game Boy Color port, including this, I think. Maybe This does not have one. Ah shit. It really I'm really surprised though cuz like it screams Game Boy Color port. Yeah, and not just because uh, Lucy Liu's involved. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, this is like, it was in development. They didn't even like see fit to like print it in the United States for yeah. anything but the GameCube. This is the, yeah, I played the PlayStation uh, 2 version of it um, just because I, I got that ROM and I have that emulator up and running. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, this is, this is among the worst things we've done for the show. <laughs> it's so uh, bad. It's perplexing. It it really really is. So it's 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 very obviously like a tie-in. It's a, it's an interquel, I think, between the first Charlie's Angels movie uh uh in the uh the the early 2000s and Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Full and, Throttle, which is a sequel to the LucasArts game of the same name. Yep. It's a it's really like, abstract it's, sequel. It's, it's like Dark Souls 2. Like millennia have passed. Yep. It's it's, it's a crossover. Yeah, 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 you have all your all of your friends, Rip Burger. No, he yeah. was the bad guy. Rip Burger was the bad guy, wasn't he? Yeah. Fuck. It's all right. <sighs> um, Gary, I screwed yeah. up. Let's dwell on that for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We, 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 there's, there's too much to talk about. And also too many uh, dicks to beat off because this is a very hot, sexy game. Oh, God. Uh, for, uh, or at least that's the intention. 
Like, I think that this, so, and there, there's a lot to unpack here, right? Oh, um, for sure. Because so, so Charlie's Angels, uh, the original Charlie's Angels, 70s, it's fine. Yep. Like, is this a secret old man thing that you like? Is this, are you into the Charlie's Angels the same way you're into MASH and <laughs> fucking yeah. private pile and shit? Uh, no, no, it, no, it's not. So I think that, uh, I just remember being really bored by it when it came on Nick at night. And I was thinking about it, I was getting ready for this. And it's like, yeah, like, I just remember it being the show with the, uh, oh gosh, the show with the fucking speakerphone. And it's yeah. like, basically, you know, not like cable even, but like network network action drama stuff it just like it didn't have enough like whiz bang and pop for me to like hold my attention like com- comedy action shows are bad right right yeah. you, you know like just uh stock footage and stuff like that and you know like by the by the time i was seeing this like it it didn't hit me as like a like a sexual awakening thing like uh mm. like a, a three's company or something did Right. Yeah. Like I never, I mean, Farrah Fawcett, uh, God knows she's, you know, she, she went through a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, she per- perfectly attractive person. Like she was never like, she never read a sex symbol to me. No. And I think that that that's like, whenever you hear about Charlie's angels, that's what people talk about is like, Oh gosh, I had her poster and you know, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Um, you know, so it, it just didn't, it didn't work for me, honestly. The whole thing is about diminished expectations. Like you'd watch the show because it was the only place in the world to see a car chase. <laughs> and then you would, you'd watch the show because it's the only place in the world to see like semi scantily clad women with the biggest hair in the world. <laughs> right. It's the you big know, hair. Honestly, I've ne- I, I never, I never went in for the big hair. 70s feather hair. Like yeah. That. Yeah. It just, uh, yeah. it just doesn't work for me. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's not really uh, necessarily for me either. Uh, even though like I would let the, the girls from heart go to town on me. <laughs> like like go crazy on me yeah like, it's it specifically is, crazy on you that yeah. is the sexiest like, song yeah it is it is that song is so goddamn sexy and just like <laughs> oh man i don't i don't even find you particularly attractive but just go <laughs> go <laughs> just, ready, ready your engines yeah please the um so like that's the kind of that's the exception though for the yeah. 70s hair so the, you know the show is them like getting into like those weird light-hearted 70s like chip style crime you know where nothing chips is dark enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, like it was a lot of smuggling, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I need dark chocolate chips. I don't need regular <laughs> chips. Yeah. Like it is. Uh, yeah, just lots of yeah, smuggling. Like, oh no, there's somebody yeah. smuggling something. Here, here's yeah. the thing though. When when it's when you your tariffs, America. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who gives a shit? Like how many people? Like like how many like vaguely ethnic people on cigarette cigarette boats do I need to see Jacqueline Smith <laughs> yeah. shoot? And if it's not the Charlie's Angels, it's Knight Rider fighting them, or like it's you know that was just the thing. Yeah, cigarette <laughs> boat full of ethnic yep. folk. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, just, just 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 Airwolf launching torpedoes at vaguely ethnic people. Yep. Ugh, yeah. Oh man. Um. Uh, like so. So the big hair thing. I I, I want to go back to this because it was really only Farrah Fawcett that was repping the big hair. I remember uh, uh Kate Jackson, uh the like the the, the dark haired. Um, there's two dark person uh, 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 spe- specifically the like the one with the with the brown hair not the dark uh, red like okay. like like those two have kind of like a mod look going not yeah. not m-a-u-d and m-o-d and that's yeah that's fine like that that's kind of more my speed but yeah not not, not terrible okay. um there's a couple pictures of them where they also kind of have big hair as well yeah uh just different kinds of big hair not the like <laughs> feathered hair but like yeah um so and not just to like totally reduce these women to the way they look. Like I'm sure they were badass and it was cool that they were doing the same thing that the Night Rider was doing and that, you know, the yeah. A team was doing and things like that. It's just all those shows are boring. Yeah. Um so flash forward to this weird cultural mania that is that happened for these things. Like oh, this yeah. remake, I remember it just being like everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like the commercials were inescapable. Um, I never actually ta- I never saw it, of course, and then I never talked to somebody who had seen it uh, because it looked like trash. But the um, it was everywhere. Yeah, like this was. I think this was the uh, Burger King Cup. Like, yeah, it, it just went like the second that started uh, that being a thing. Like, we're going to promote shit on fast food cups. Like, you could really tell. Yeah, you know, Charlie's Angels went went. For it. yeah and like uh, and, and and like a lot of these kind of things you, you know they instead of getting like action uh kind of actresses or whatever like it has three comedic actresses uh lucy lou kind of isn't but like cameron diaz and drew barrymore like yeah they're, they're not action ladies no who who was an action lady around this time that could have been cast instead i don't know yeah i, I said that and i realized i really don't know who an action lady would be 
I don't know it, you know, at that time, yeah. like it, it, there's, there come to be some, and it's fine, you know, like ladies can do what, whatever, you, like I'm, I'm trying to have that fine line where I'm not, I don't dislike this because it's women. Right. Yes. I, I think it just looks like, uh, and it's also like, it is really playing up a gross sexual playfulness uh, in all of the marketing and in the video game mm-hmm. that I find distasteful. Yeah. Uh, in general, like this video game has parts like that are here explicitly because they're to make you uh, hard. You have to give you and, a game boner. Yeah. yeah, to give you a boner. And I dislike. Yes. Dislike the fact that, uh, so, the, so the movie comes out, I never see it. Full Throttle comes out, uh, like decent game, some bullshit puzzles. <laughs> this game, this game comes out, uh, the for, very first cutscene, you get your your little cutscene of, of the Charlie's Angels uh, with uh, Bosley. <laughs> Bosley, who uh, is not Bill Murray. No, no, no. It's a, it's a black guy and his hair looks exactly like my microphone pop. Uh, <laughs> yeah. pop cover like the texture of it is exactly the same and i'm not saying that in a racist way it is a graphics way yes everything i say that's bad is not about the minorities <laughs> or women in this game please please it extend is about the game. <laughs> please extend him the benefit of that doubt yes it is not his hair it is the way they model this non-bill murray yeah, it, it is it is very much like a like a foam helmet yes yeah yeah exactly it looks like a space ball <laughs> and of course the very first thing is like hey there's a bikini contest you guys have to infiltrate <laughs> it's like oh no oh <laughs> that, no that, that, that's how you're going to get onto this naval base and distract the sailors yeah no <laughs> um so that's bad enough and they're kind of doing some little light banter uh with the characters talking about uh, the insurance premiums like seems like every time we send you guys out on a dangerous mission something blows up it's, it's just it's that 70s. It's like, you know, you, you're off the case, McGarnacle, kind of like, <laughs> you know, but in a more playful way. But those are cliches that nobody likes anymore. Mm-hmm. Like they're not it's not fun to just indulge in like every time you guys do something, something goes wrong. Like <laughs> you have to put some kind of twist on it. Like mm-hmm. you can't just like just do it. Like it's not it's not a joke. You know, <laughs> I'm sure they're like, oh, there's explosives in the roof. Well, I'm sure the explosives are there anyway. Uh huh. It's like, oh, you girls. Well, you, <laughs> people died. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, angels. <laughs> like your death toll is in the dozens. <laughs> Stop it. We're, um, we are a paramilitary mil, paramilitary organization. Yeah, you're a terrorist. <laughs> like these 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 terrorists, this terrorist group, the Charlie's Angels. <laughs> uh, so then you switch, then you get into the game and like, by God, Cole, what is even happening here? <laughs> well, what it is, it's uh it's kind of like uh that diehard arcade game. Hmm. You remember that? It's it's it's, a, it's, a, it's just or like a, Mortal Kombat mythologies. It, oh, like, like yeah, like the Jax, but like, like even yeah. the uh, like the like the Jax one, the, uh, the the special forces one that was kind of three D. That was like a like a Metal Gear like, like you were yeah. going and you know up and down elevators. Um, I'm describing elevator action here. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you like you were going and doing a bunch of a bunch of different stuff. Like this is this is the most rote uh, kind of like arcade beat 'em up style thing like down to it puts up a 3d arrow that points in the direction that you're supposed to go and the i defy anyone to know what like your field of play is in this game Mm -hmm. because like you can walk towards the camera but the camera stops (laughs) it's like your your camera is is has a force field around it it's like a glass sheet and then uh it tells you which way to go and you can only go that direction in this like 3d world Mm -hmm. it's really weird like there's no it's functionally a side scroller yeah. Or like a, a beat 'em up, like a, you know, having a little bit of of you know X or a, a, a Z axis, but mm-hmm. not very much. Yeah. Um, and so we like a beat 'em up done well, right? Like, oh yeah. We're not using that as like a like a prima facie pejorative right yes. now. What 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 I'm reacting against is just how simplistic it is. Like, it's, it's really. It, it's like the the only entertaining thing is if you jump and then do a kick at least when you're lucy lou you do like a lu kang bicycle kick that keeps you aloft yeah pretty <laughs> it was pretty silly i'm sure it happens in the movie too the um it is so but it's it's violating i like a beat em up but this it viol, violates the premise where initially they're just like hey you're gonna have to you're gonna infiltrate this this thing you're gonna pretend to be swimsuit models nope there's like no, there's literally no like no sneaking or anything. You just go to the right and kill like endless dudes named Bob and and Derek. I think that's a very bold choice because yeah. I I I am Drew Barrymore, Slayer of Blakes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just and picture it, it, her letting out a, a barbaric yop covered in Blake blood, <laughs> and I'm coming um, for the ashes next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is exactly what is happening is you're killing white guys uh, and white guys. Oh, and, and uh, uh, bikini babes. 
there there are a couple bikini babes who also hate you. <laughs> I don't uh, understand. Like, is everybody here in the military, but like dressed up in swimwear, like beachwear? I don't know why. It's like it's it's like the game starts after you get caught, but it doesn't tell you that you've been caught. Right. And all three of the angels have to go do this shit, um, just in different places. You can use a phone to switch to which player you're playing as, which would almost be cool mm -hmm. uh, if they had like different verb sets, right? Oh, like yeah. you could do this as an example. Uh, speaking of the most recent uh, exquisite suffering, if you've heard that, if not, we talked about GoGo 13, which has a bunch of different game modes. Imagine if this was like when you play as Drew Barrymore, because I think she's supposed to be like the rough and tumble metal chick, mm -hmm. uh, just from like some Google image searching. Like she's the one who brawls. But when you play as Lucy Liu, like maybe she has like stealth skills. Mm -hmm. And when you play as Cameron Diaz, maybe she's the face of the organization and you do like social things. Yeah. What you're asking for is is a, is a shadow run game, Gary. Well, yeah. Or like the Lost <laughs> Vikings. Yeah. You know, it, uh, of like, like, well, if, if it's an infiltration based thing, if you're like, if there's a matter of deception, mm -hmm. it's like they're just storming the base, killing dozens and dozens of people. Yeah. Like it is literally like a, a, a graceless insurgency. But they but they get results. I guess that's true. I can't can't argue with that. Um, I put it on easy and stopped when I got bored. I didn't uh, didn't you know die? Did you get to the ladder? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty it took great. Forty seconds to climb that ladder, <laughs> rung by rung. It is. Uh, you climb in real time. It's like the only thing not sped up. Also, I was joking or was trying to think of a way to joke about uh, you covering this game for Hexcrank because of how these models look. Oh yeah, they're like we are totally uh, back in the uh, Barbie model territory yes. like they they resemble the actresses they're supposed to resemble yes <laughs> in as much i mean the actresses that you're supposed to resemble do resemble people <laughs> right. so, so it's like it's they, got, they are it's bi against it. so they are bipedal yes yes and these things are are vaguely bipedal <laughs> <laughs> these, these creatures are vaguely by bi bi bipedal yeah um the actual the models the couch models do look a little bit like the actresses <laughs> so it's got that going for it yeah but you just kind of and you start off as um lucy lou uh when you start i uh, know that no, you start true. you start out as uh cameron diaz, cameron diaz yeah uh because i was i was gonna say that i don't like that you start off as lucy lou and just immediately start doing kung fu yeah no that's uh, uh yeah but uh, you start all of them just immediately start doing kung fu mm -hmm. oh, that seems not better <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just I, I really enjoy the, the the decision to give everybody names. I think that that is that is daring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even even the main characters because it wasn't really necessary. It just like go to the right <laughs> as a bikini babe and and hit people. The combo system is like the most like it's really really rudimentary. Mm -hmm. um, there's like nothing to that combo system. If, it, I, it feels like there was a like there was a super meter I was building up because you do that little spinny thing every once in a while. Ah, spin shit, with your yeah. arms out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I couldn't find the meter either. Just every once in a while, I would do that. What felt like a special, like special move. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, Carrie, we we missed the total. We totally missed it. Um, the premise of this game, the like the like the action is. Um, uh, so <laughs> there's a cartel of monument thieves. Oh, I God damn it! The opening cutscene. Yeah, because it <laughs> opens with them stealing the Statue of Liberty. Yep. <laughs> Yep. It's done in such an amazing way because like, okay, there's the, like, there's a, it's the New York city skyline and then things go, things go dark and then oh, it's back up and oh no, the statue of Liberty has gone. Yep. And the <laughs> newspaper says, uh, new, new, new York's orphan. <laughs> new York is an orphan. Oh yeah. New, it doesn't, there's no, it's not a full set. I think it might just be oh, New York is orphan. Yeah. New York is orphan. Yeah. New York is uh, orphan. Took, took First of all, like, <laughs> that sentence is real great. New York is orphan. <laughs> Second, if you think of orphan as O R F I N apostrophe, <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> like, as a thing is that the yell dance craze that sweep of the yeah. nation? <laughs> yeah, something a DJ might yell after blasting an air horn. <laughs> you know? New York is orphan. Um, and then the idea of like Did the you say Bjork Liberty? is orphan. <laughs> Bjork is orphan. <laughs> new Bjork, New Bjork. No, now you're doing, um, now you're doing the Swedish chef. Can. Did you ever get the impression that the Statue of Liberty is New York's mom <laughs> or parent somehow? Because <laughs> I didn't. Neither did I. Although <laughs> I'm just picturing like just a, like, you know, every every couple of months or so, a new tool shed <laughs> falls out from beneath her frock. <laughs> yeah. And then they take that and they put it and then it grows up. They feed it a lot of steel beams and they feed yep. it a lot of people. And then eventually it turns into a skyscraper. As as far as games where the, the Statue of Liberty is in play, like I think this is somehow worse than ghostbusters too <laughs> that's really saying something because ghost but so and check this out stealing monuments you know who else did that shredder Herman, 
Carmen San Diego on the Carmen San Diego TV show. Oh yeah. Like that was the premise of it. It was like, uh oh, Double Trouble came and stole a quarry. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> let's ask Rockapella. Yeah, let's ask Rockapella. It's a zombie zoo. Wop, wop. Um, you know, and <laughs> the uh it's it's so silly and cartoonish. Does that happen in the movies? No, I like so so the first movie, so I've seen the movies. Okay. Oh okay. both of them? <laughs> yep. Wow. But I was like super young. I was like fourteen or so. Now this, this like the, the, this got into my uh, like this. This was in the uh, the wheelhouse. I think. Okay. So like a little a little bit older than when I saw uh, the original uh, Charlie's Angels. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, on on Naked Night, and it's like okay, I'm gonna go watch some mass like society approved light sexualized fun or sure. whatever you know yep. and then the other the, the the old man cole's unstuck in time side of it i don't remember like any of the plot because because honestly like the first one is just like hey it's it's the origin story right and i think that sure. there might have been something like oh wait what if you know charlie's telling us to do bad things and then kind of like a like a mission impossible thing looking okay. at it, and I, I have no recollection of uh, of full throttle looking looking at it now though uh, the best thing that uh, that that movie did was get Tom Green mm-hmm. into a Charlie's Angels movie because yeah. Drew Barrymore, uh, you know, married yeah, to the it, man. Uh, we're married to that guy. Yeah, yeah. good for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you do you, uh, do you remember the uh, Andy Daly show or the Andy Dick show rather? No. He had a sketch comedy show on uh, MTV. It was very short lived. Mm-hmm. Uh, he does an impersonation of Tom Green that is. Uh, pretty good um but it's, it's really cruel like it's really making fun of tom green which right. like that's great because tom green green is just like what if i fist a horse like, that's literally <laughs> like the extent of his humor um you know great uh so uh he does this thing making fun of him but there's a sketch on that show and i i haven't watched it since i've been older so i don't know if it's true but where i think he fools debrat into thinking he's tom green and him and debrat go around and go grocery shopping and it's amazing who is DeBrat? Or at least my memory of it uh she is a raptress Oh. Um, she's she's a, she's a young raptor. Um, <laughs> she she was a rap lady. Uh, but in my memory of it is really amazing because it's just him like acting like Tom Green and being like, "I'm with the brat," you know. I'm grocery shopping and throwing eggs on the ground and just being an idiot like Tom Green is. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you know the brat slow the dawning horror on her face as she realizes she's not really with Tom Green. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm being entirely honest with you, I would much rather go egg shopping with, uh, with Tom Green than Andy Dick. Well, yeah, he's not indirectly <laughs> responsible for um, Phil Hartman dying. <laughs> oh, um, I forgot about that. Yeah, that like, son of a bitch. Yeah, like you didn't take away national treasure, Phil Hartman. <laughs> okay. uh, so, not that like, I mean, Andy Dick has said funny things before. Oh yeah. Like he's not, he's not, you know, absolutely repulsive <laughs> as a, as a comedian. He's just repulsive as like a drug-addled weirdo. Yeah. Um, anywho. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot about his involvement in that whole affair. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So oh. at the very least, Tom Green has that going for him. <laughs> well, whenever I go like, home. No matter I... how many horses he fists. <laughs> like, he's still can hold I'd... that over Danny Dick's head. <laughs> Man, whenever whenever I go home, I always watch the weirdest TV. Uh, you yeah. re- you saw my tweet about uh, Guy Fieri's manhole cover from uh, Flavor Town. That's real great. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward. I'm going back home next month. I'm really looking forward to seeing Guy Fieri again, <laughs> just because I'll <laughs> watch it on TV. Because my mom, uh, who loves that guy, and I've been like, "You like Guy Fieri? Why do you like Guy Fieri?" And she's like, "I don't know. I just think he's cool. He's cool. Look at him." <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> you know, just like I, I think about who's who's really in touch with the kids these yeah. days. It just he appeals to my mom. My mom's just like that guy's yeah. cool. I don't think she thinks he's attractive or anything. I think she just thinks that like no, he's just he's he's like the, the Fonz. <laughs> he's the, the Fonz of food. Yeah, he's he's, he's the Fonz for two thousand six. He's food Fonz. Yep. yep. He's uh he's the Fonz of Fonz do. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, but no, just uh, last time I was home, like back uh, or earlier this year, I saw this shitty like uh like. Uh, gosh, medical examiners of Hollywood, like reconstruction of celebrity deaths. And, okay. and they uh, had somebody like reopening the Phil Hartman case, you know, mm. and like, there was some interesting stuff about it. It's kind of like, Oh, the story doesn't really match up. It was kind of some sloppy, sloppy police work. You know, it might've been somebody else, all that usual kind of stuff. And his, his wife was very imbalanced and I kind of yes. believe the official story. Uh, the shitty thing was that they had the worst actors playing them so like the somebody who looks nothing like phil hartman walking around (laughs) to phil hartman's place it made my heart ache yeah that's unfortunate because phil hartman is wonderful yeah 
Like he's he's really good. I, what I, I get sad watching old Simpsons episodes sometimes because mm-hmm. he's he's such a like a singular voice presence. Yeah, uh, yeah. He wrote uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah, with Paul he's Rubens. A, but no. yeah, and he's uh, he's got the the best scene in Soy Mary Next Murder. <laughs> yeah, he's, I like he's, that movie. <laughs> yeah, me too. But he's he's great in it. Yeah, like that, that's such a good like he was so good for those kind of roles. Like mm-hmm. just a really particular like small little scene stealer. Yeah, he's a, he's the glue. Um, I'm not uh, super into any of the principles in Charlie's Angels mm. as like presences on screen. Like, yeah, it's uh, uh, they, they like the so I've I've enjoyed their work individually and stuff. Yeah, but like together, it's really strange to see them like carrying it because I don't know if they if they're being used properly. Yeah, there's there's a whole. Uh, miasma of that floating over this whole thing yeah you know and it's like i'm I'm sure that like they they chose to do it and they got where they were well compensated for it mm-hmm. you know and like i don't think it's being done against their will it was a big movie like yeah it was it was huge you know and it's great like i'm good for them you know mm-hmm. it's it a big big thing for them and that's their job yeah uh but just kind of like the desire behind of just like we got to get some i just remember um the trailer with the weird little like drew Marymore doing this little butt shake yeah thing. yeah that's uh that's the one yeah, and and I just remember that just being, you know, and then seeing like MTV like movie reports where they would just keep showing that in the background like <laughs> over and over. Yeah. Uh, and this was be at, like after my like I'm I'm I can literally masturbate to anything. <laughs> you know, like the, my weird like when testosterone first hit my body and I was mm-hmm. just like, "Oh my god." Yeah. You know, oh, I, that, that almost looks like a bra strap. Oh my god, I got to do it, you know. Just, like, <laughs> I I need I, to I'll I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like uh oh, what did you what, what did you say? Did you, did you say panty? Okay. Well, <laughs> give, give me, give me 10 minutes. I'll, oh, I'll be back. You know, I miss having a libido. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, you know, the truth, perhaps uh, the truth is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, not, not to put on the Ken Levine golden jeans or anything, but like, <laughs> yeah. I think when it comes to, uh, comes to that, like, I like the idea that I am no longer, I mean, not, my libido is fine. I know you're, just, you're joking. I just went along with that as if suggesting like not only you, but myself also have problems with that <laughs> right. uh, as if that was just a known thing, but I was just, you know, <laughs> going along, just, just saying that I'm glad that not literally everything in the, like, like a, that was an, hell. Like just to, 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 like to have like a hair, like red riding hood. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh my God, just take it. Sproing. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Um, there, the, there was one scene, I think it was either Drew Barrymore or uh, Cameron Diaz, um, where like she ordered delivery food and she was playing. It was, it was one of the situations where like, it's an N64 controller, but they're playing Atari sounds. Yeah. She was playing a game and like, you know, saying stuff that made it sound like she was uh, enjoying a, a solo mission. Um, okay. You know, like, like, like she, she was session out. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, like the, the, the delivery guy was getting hot and bothered. And, uh, you know, I was, I was, uh, when did this come out? 2000? I was 13 when this came out. So that, sure. uh, that ended up working. Okay. Yeah. You were just like, Whoa. Was yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Uh, th- here's a, th- we, we can't just do entirely. We're running up on time and we can't just do masturbation memories. Like the, <laughs> the podcast that we're going to do. Uh, have you ever, like when, when I was at that, that age where it was just like literally any port in a storm, uh, do you know the movie Ramblin' Rose? No, oh, God, no. There's a scene. It's about this like uh, kind of free spirit lady uh, and her adventures in you know kind of olden times. But there's a scene, and she's played by Laura Dern, uh, who I had mm-hmm. like a Jurassic Park crush. Yeah, no, we uh, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah and there, there's a scene in that movie, and I and I looked it up again recently just to make sure it still existed. Like it is so tame by today's standards as to be like you know masturbation fuel. It is not mm-hmm. uh, now. You know now I need 100 percent like 10,000 <laughs> percent Brazzers torture <laughs> you know, in order to like. Like I just need just to uh, feel anything. Uh, yeah, I just need waxy adults to spit on each other's genitals for <laughs> half hour in order to. But but prior to this, when I had Quainter Times, I looked up. The, there's a scene where like a, a audience stand in. I don't think this was the intention, but like a very clearly like audience stand in like 13 year old boy fingers Laura Dern. <laughs> <laughs> like it's amazing. Like I it wasn't it didn't do anything for me now, but I was remembering. I was like, man, that was so hot when I was young, and looked it up. I'm like, nope, yeah, of course it was. Like <laughs> that. Th- this is man as a 13 year old boy. We're just like maybe someday I'm like friends with Laura Dern. <laughs> like, and against her better will, she lets me like you know 
give her a hand orgasm. Is, 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 like a, is it just a, just a treat? For... Yeah, it, it, she doesn't want to, but he's just like, he's real curious and she she relents, which is kind of like... How old was she in that? this? Like 13 is... That's, yeah, it's, it's that's weird. That's a crime. Man. Yeah, it's is, is a criminal. Like the, the, the power dynamics here are all wrong because yeah. he like wheedles her, which is no good, but mm-hmm. she is definitely two to three <laughs> times his senior. Um, but yeah, and then, uh, you know, gets her off with his hand and it's like as a kid... Like that was literally the all I wanted out of life. Yeah. It was just like this was such a wish fulfillment fantasy thing. <laughs> but uh no. yeah. I don't know. Like uh, so the closest that I had to that, I remember getting uh and then like this this this, this is super fucked up. But uh uh, uh Leah Thompson in uh, Back to the Future. Oh, kind sure. of all the situations that are put in that's that's a strange thing to put into a kid's movie. Like that that level of titillation for like yeah. incest kind of shit. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, she's and she's real coquettish. Yeah, like it is. Uh, yeah, but uh, but I, I also I'm, you know, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yep. Like it is. Uh, it is just. It is like it doesn't excuse anything. Everyone is responsible for their own actions. Mm-hmm. I've read a couple essays before though that talked about like, hey, here's what testosterone actually does to you, and this is why you're not thinking straight. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not expo- uh, exonerating anyone right. for doing terrible things, including myself. Mm-hmm. But I understand that we are just like horny uber alas, like 13 year oldness and it is a storm too like uh, you, oh, it, geez, it, is, it is a nightmare i'm so glad that like that's no longer the case yeah like it is uh and that's what this movie and game was like for was like to appeal to that kind of like because a different version of me like if this had come out when i was very young uh there would have been a version of me that like probably jerked off to this game <laughs> you know and that's ridiculous. <laughs> but again that version of me is like 12 you know, it's not a, uh, so yeah. I don't know. Anywho, uh, we, we are up on time. Yes, we are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed like masturbation chat with the abject boys. <laughs> it's the masturbation station here on abject yep. suffering. Yep. Doo, doo. Abject slathering. You're pu- pulling, the, uh, in, pulling into the, <laughs> pulling into the tunnel. Yep. Um, so if you, uh, if you like the show, you can uh, go to patreon.com forward slash duck feed TV mm-hmm. and support it. You can also rate and review it on iTunes. Those things are both very appreciated. Yeah. And uh, check out the other shows. We have the the, the newer show on the network, uh, Monster in My Podcast, uh, which happened thanks to Patreon. And uh, we've got another one on the deck. Um, in yeah. fact, you're, you're going to uh, hear the host of that on the next episode. Uh, mm-hmm. Jeremy Greer is going to be joining us to talk about uh, X-Men Mutant Academy. So yeah. uh, we, check out you, all of that. If you like X-Men, that show is fun. And uh, we've recorded more episodes than we released. Mm-hmm. There, We got some in the can uh, just because it's fun to do. Yeah. So even if it doesn't end up getting picked up, uh, then we're, we they're still exist. And then we've, I can vouch. Yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you guys very much. Hmm. And uh, until next time, uh, who, 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 who is Boz Dog? Who, who the hell was I at thirteen to <laughs> <laughs> doing that shit? <laughs>